Hi folks, I hope you're all okay. It's Sunday the 26th of September. How? Um, time is it? Just gone half past five. Uh, had a busy weekend. I'm just waiting for the potatoes to finish boiling uh, or part boiling and then I'm going to put them in the oven for roast potatoes. So I thought while I'm waiting I'll film a quick video. Um, I have a couple of finished items to show you that should have really been picked up well, late on from yesterday, but they haven't yet, so I thought I'd do it now while I've still got them. Um, I was asked to make two chubby alpacas. Um, Tobin's uh, girlfriend's mum asked me if I could make them. They're not actually together anymore. Um, but she still wants them, so she's going to come and get them. Um, in, I can't remember what blue this was called, but Aldi blue, and I think it's Aldi cream blanket on and then this was some like, blush or something like that it's really pretty sort of it's not a bright pink but it's very pretty so she wanted two so they are done ready for Christmas presents um, and I am working on it's the only thing I'm working on um, a blanket for next door that side connected to us because uh, she's having a baby and she's due in November but they are moving but hopefully I'll get it done in time I'm having a problem I took it with us we've been I've had a busy weekend um Paul's dad and uh step was that came over yesterday um and they were doing jobs and um oh my gosh putting new lights in the garden and stuff and chatting and etc um and then today picked up the shopping I did the ironing before we went and did the shopping Picked up the shopping, had lunch, dropped my hook. I went to um, up to Chilwell to look around uh, TK Maxx and Pound Stretcher, and I even went in Sports Direct to look for trainers. I didn't find a single thing for me. I bought the kids a bag of sweets and pulled some Portuguese tarts from M&S because he says they're the best thing ever made. I don't like them. They're too vanilla. Well, it's like egg custard almost. <laughs> but he loves it um, but yes we've just been to the tip or the recycle centre and taken a load of rubbish at the garage uh, drawers out of a unit that we couldn't I don't know why we had them I think we we smashed the unit up the chest of drawers but the drawers were still there or something like that or we took the ward I don't know anyway so they've gone and some old speakers and just made a bit of room in the garage for Paul so I took this with me and I think I've messed up on this top row that I'm on. Because I've got halfway across it and I've gone from working on, on top of a shell row to working on top of these. So I've done something wrong. I'll have to rip it back and figure it out. But this is the June blanket or the seashell stripe blanket by uh, Lucy of Attic 24. I made a big one of these big huge um, a couple of years ago using up a load of scraps and the rest um, so I'm making this using uh, rainbow cakes from lollies that I bought the last time I ordered which turned out to be the last time because they closed uh, sadly when I ordered the yarn art stuff for like Paul's mum's blanket did I show you Paul's mum's? I haven't but I'll show you that next time because I've moved it upstairs now but I had three of these I'm on the second one So I've got some more to go. I'm using a 5mm hook. It is approximately 36 inches wide, something like that. So baby blanket size. I don't think I went too wide like I normally do. Um, so I'm just plodding along with that. I would say it is a really easy pattern. I just don't know what I've done, whether I picked it up or thought I was doing something else. I worked on it on the way to the tip and the way back and if I picked it up on the way back and started wrong so I figured that out but it's a lovely pattern I'll link it below uh, the world has gone crazy or the UK has gone crazy panic buying petrol um, because some some petrol stations not near us had a driver shortage and they couldn't deliver the petrol so they had to close but it got reported so everyone went, oh my gosh, there's a petrol shortage. There isn't. 
but people were blocking up as did yesterday and today when we went to fetch a shopping um, and I called in Aldi on the way home from my unsuccessful shopping trip because we're about due toilet or I think we've got about three but the rate the boys pretend to go through more at the weekend when they're here making toilet making mess um, and the boys have had a cold so toilet rolls disappearing and I went to buy toilet roll and there was none so we're, we're doing that again people but while I was in Aldi we've got a big deal just one um, it's the colour is forget me not it's quite a pale blue almost like an icy blue just got one pack because this I eked out the last of the blue yarn I had and it was like close uh, on the legs I was like I'm gonna get it so I had no more blue so I bought some blue it's not the same color but I don't need it too much I just need to have some blue um, they did have like pink and black variegated um, blanket yarn on their website but a lot of their stuff got um, delayed it's the story of, of everything at the minute um, so I might have another look when that comes in hello Mortimer come in. Mortimer, um, if I sit, he sits on me. Hey, you, baby. Let me lift him up. It's Mortimer. He's a big outdoor cat now, aren't you? You're big and brave. Um, just one second, I'll be back. I'm back. Um, the potatoes are now in the oven, so I haven't got to worry about them boiling anymore. Um, what was I saying? Yes, the cats are, are going outside now that they're snipped and chipped and vaccinated. Um, been going out for three weeks, two weeks, three weeks maybe. Um, and I got asked, um, I think it varies obviously here in the UK, um, varies with the states um, as to whether the cats are indoor or outdoor cats. Um, I don't know why we have outdoor cats particularly. Watch out. Say hi. Oh, nice to say hi. Quickly. Hi. Hi, he's I'm out his, on my bike. He's found his old bike helmet. Does it fit better now? Mm -hmm. It's a lot better. I actually have been needing to tighten it. Hey, tell everyone what you watch with me. Jaws. Finally watched Jaws. Tobin's too scared and he's 13 in like four days. He keeps saying it's because uh, it's, it's so rubbish and old. Oh my. He's scared. He's scared. But he watched at the end of it, didn't he? I'm not. Anyway, go I've I'm been on my go kart, my space hopper, my bike. My scooter. Jack hasn't stopped at the minute. He's just in and out all day. I went yep. on two bike rides with him yesterday. And then he went, I'm going to go on a run, okay? And ran off. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to go on a run right now. Bye. Go on then, because you need to do... I'll, add, I'll make Is it five run? things. Up. Okay, mate. Um, yeah, I don't know. Why it, I think some people do keep their cats as indoor cats if they live near a particularly busy road. Um, but we've always just let our cats out. It's it's a very sort of natural thing over here um, that we let cats go out. They're they're fully well, ours are fully vaccinated against you know feline AIDS and whatever else they're vaccinated against. I did look it up when we had the cats vaccinated, and I can't remember what what they're vaccinated against. And we worm them and flea them, and for the most part, they stay in the garden and they go up the drive a little bit. Um, but yeah, they just go out and do their business and I suppose do catty things like hunt and whatever, you know, and then we get presents at the door. But yeah, it's um it's just just how it is I think. Um or how it is over here. Um I don't know with the states if it's if there's more hazards, you know, and it's safer to keep them inside. I'm not sure what the you know, the, the other side of the reasoning is for keeping them in. Um my mum at at one point she uh, built like a what do they call it like instead of a carport the, the like a cat enclosure there's a word for it and I can't think what it is my mum had a sort of a pen built so her cats could get fresh air but they, they couldn't get off the property um, and I think she I don't, I don't really know the, the rationale behind it because um, I don't I don't I don't um, see her, so I don't really know. So I can't remember the reason for it, but yeah, her cats are—they can be outside, but they don't go out, out, out. Um, so it keeps them safer, and 
gives me a bit of fresh air, I suppose. Um, but yeah, so that's that. Uh, and uh, somebody asked me um, why they are named, why they're so named, uh, the cats. Um, we like the comedian Bob Mortimer, and he used to be in a comedy duo, Vic and Bob. But I didn't want to call the other, one of the cats Vic, and I, I wasn't like madly keen on Bob. And I was like, what about Mortimer like, for his surname? And me, Paul, and Tobin have watched Rick and Morty. Obviously, Jack's too young. Tobin, I think, is too young already, but Paul let him watch it. Um, so I was like, if we call one Morty, and so I don't want to call him Rick. And we were like, what about Pickle? Like Pickle Rick. So um, Paul says their full names are Sir Pickleton Rick and uh, Mortimer Bonsonby. <laughs> Don't, don't ask, don't ask. We're a weird family. But yeah, that's that's where they got the names from. Um, a bit Rick and Morty and Bob Mortimer. So that's, that's how they got their names. Good about children who've got relatively normal names. Or well, Jack has. <laughs> Poor Tobin. Um, I found this while I was sorting the potatoes out. I knew I'd made one, uh, another one. I sold three of these at the sale trail a couple of weeks ago. Which went reasonably well. I sold, I had like a a sand beige coloured uh, alpaca and uh, the next door neighbour bought it before I'd even put it on the put it out there. I sold a blanket yarn giraffe that the girl said how much is your cow? I was like um, um so cow giraffe she was besotted with it and she's like can you make one smaller? I was like well I suppose so um, and she took a business card and then she came back and she went, I just, I need it. I was like, okay, thank you. Um, I had two of those and she took one. What else did I say? I saw lots of little bits that I had some octopuses, octopi. Um, what else did I sell? Nearly saw my big penguin, um, but it, it didn't. I think they, they were like, we'll have a look around. I was like, okay, no problem. Um, so yeah, I sold a bit, not not loads, but I wasn't expecting to. It wasn't a craft fair, it was just a, a sale trail. So I wasn't expecting people to... I wasn't, to be honest, expecting to sell as much as I did, so that was a bonus. The kids sold some of their old board games and toys and stuff, and Jack spent it on just as much, if not more, rubbish to come back in the house. I'm like, no, no, we're supposed to be getting rid of stuff. Uh, so he disappeared with his money because I couldn't leave the, my table, couldn't leave the driveway. So he disappeared off with next door's son and Tobin occasionally. And he came back with his carry bag jingling. I was like, what on earth have you bought? He bought eight cut crystal wine glasses. Cut glass wine glasses. And I was like, why? He went, well, I was just going to buy two for two, yeah, two for two pound or two for a pound. The man said I could have them all. So we've now got, I think they don't all match. One's a Stella Artois half pint glass, which is quite nice. Um, there's a sherry glass, I think. Oh, you know, it, it's not the little fluted sherry shape, but it's a little like wine glass, but quite a long stem. I was like, oh my gosh. So we've got them to try and squeeze in the cupboard. Don't know. But yes, it was a good sale trail. The weather helped with beautifully we just got packed away got inside and it started to rain I was like, and it was a really good day um i have inquired about a craft fair on the 7th of november but the lady emailed me back fairly quickly from my initial inquiry said i've got a few people wanting to sell crochet show me what you make and i sent some pictures but she hasn't answered me so i'm assuming that's a no um but my friend, she sells silver jewellery and she's inquired and she got the same, send me a picture. But the woman responded to her and said, oh, that's lovely. It's really, pretty, you know, really nice items. I'll get back to you and hasn't. So she needs to put an order in to get her stuff. And likewise, I need to know to be making stuff. So I'm taking it that I'm not doing it and I'm not stressing about it. I don't think the school will do one. I might have a look, serious look at some point about inquiring for another one uh, in a little like we're in Long Eaton but this is technically like sometimes called New Sorley and Old Sorley is just over the railway line um, I think it's a part of Long Eaton I don't know but um, 
there's a, a community hall they like you weigh babies there and you can hire it for parties and stuff and they do they were doing a craft feather day before the sale trail that I didn't know about so maybe I'll inquire and, and try and do a Christmas one there I don't know anyway I'm going to stop waffling because this is I've gone off on several tangents about cats and glasses and stuff um, but I hope you're all doing well um, I hope you've had a good weekend it was Yarndale this weekend so if you went I'm very jealous I hope you had a nice time it always sort of falls around Tobin's birthday yes it's Tobin's birthday on Thursday the 30th and he is 13 <laughs> how is he 13 he, he's developing the attitude at the minute everything we say to him is like what <laughs> that is genuinely his reaction to pretty much everything I say can you move this what why because <laughs> it's in the way and it's yours So I'm handling it with a great deal of, you know, sensitivity and I'm just laughing at him quite a lot. When he gets all grumpy, I just basically jig around and annoy him some more. Because I can. Because I don't want to be shouty all the time, so I'm just going to be silly all the time instead. Teenagers don't like anybody anyway, so I don't think it really matters how I <laughs> how I act is gonna hate me. Uh, however, I try to play it, so I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna go and stare at the potatoes and see what they're doing because it's getting on for six o'clock and we've not had tea yet because we didn't decide to go to the tip until four. It's actually open until six on a Sunday, which is really good. Um, but it's a twenty-minute drive away. So we didn't get back till just after five and I got some potatoes and I was like, oh, roast potato emergency. This is what my life has come to. <laughs> One day you're young and fun and then it's like, oh, the roast potatoes need to go in the oven. Right, I'm going to love you and leave you. Stop waffling. I hope you're all doing well. Uh, staying safe. Um, yeah, being good. Not panic buying petrol, please don't do that. Or bog roll, <laughs> toilet roll, um, as the people of our fair town have apparently been doing because I couldn't buy new roll. Which means now I'm going to have to go out again, use my petrol that I can't replace because people are panic buying it, um, to go buy a loo roll, which I actually need. Anyway, stop ranting. I'm going to stop ranting, I promise. Um, I hope you're all well. And I'll talk to you again soon. Bye, guys. Thank you.